guys so excuse the state of me if you are new here welcome if you're one of my lovely subscribers thank you so much for coming back my name is Juliet if you do not know and over the next couple of days I'm going to be sorting my office space out so if you are new to my channel this is our loft we I say we converted it we just had the floor and um, reinforced and had it plastered and we had a carpet put down and so it's not really like a bedroom as such, but it's just an extra office space for me to work from. It's just a really odd shape because we couldn't afford to get it converted. We've done our best on a budget, put some windows in, got it so that we can work up here. But because of the odd shapes, we've got the spaces under the purlins. We've obviously got the restricted head height. So it's doing the best with what we've got. And so the mission is to try and get this space functional. So I've got a few furniture items to build today and a lot to sort through. So I've got also some stuff to bring up. So I've got a lot of like tan, like my glow up beauty, a lot of my tan products to bring up. And I also want to like put all my paperwork up here. So anything that's like office work related is gonna be going in this space. I've got a fair few pieces of furniture to build and then organize. I've got this space behind me where I'm going to put a desk here, a full desk. This is actually gonna go back downstairs because this is my makeup desk. And then these two spaces, either side of the chimney breast, I've got some Alex drawers to go. I've also got a desk in front of me, which I'm working at, which you will have seen. And I've also got a cube unit to go over the other side, which I'm thinking of setting my cricket up. So like I've got a space for the cricket machine to constantly be plugged in. I'm kind of hoping to make that like a cricket craft space um so yeah i'm going to take you through the first thing i thought i would plan to do is like i say bring all the stuff up from downstairs and get everything from over here over to that side which is not really the office space that's going to be more like the storage area so if i do that see what i've got build all the furniture and then organize it and fill it up so that's the plan and i'm gonna to have to do it bit by bit over the next couple of days because i still have work to do and two kids and a dog to look after so it's going to be fun. <laughs> okay, so I've moved majority of stuff over here. I've still got some bits over there. That is the desk and the Alex drawers. So I'm going to just try. So I'm trying to put everything over this side and then attempt to like do over there, build the desk and then start over there, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to try and fit the chest of drawers in this space because I've got a cube unit to go like here which I'm going to bring up in a second um, but I just want to see if I can get the chest of drawers in there okay so it fits in but I don't think I'm going to be able to open that bottom drawer so I'm just going to go and grab some wood see if I can heighten it just un just like that fraction so I'd be able to open that drawer so I'm going to try and find some wood two seconds okay so I've managed to actually do it and put a couple of pieces of wood underneath just so this opens and that fits in there really nice we can move it about a little bit but that fits under there perfectly it's killed me getting it under there I'm sweating to death but it's under so let me go and get the cube unit for here and we'll have a play about with that honestly I don't know how I don't burn 50,000 calories doing things like this honestly I'm so <laughs> Exhausted bringing things up those stairs. It's just like the angle, but these Should fit nicely here And then this wall there. And then this is the area that I thought I could um put the cricket stuff on Because I've got the sockets down there and then this Still opens up nicely Oh, yeah, I'm gonna put my cricket stuff on there. I think okay, so this is where I'm up to I have emptied loads of this stuff. I've still got to move this desk. I'm going to do that in a minute. I've taken all the cupboard doors off here. I'm just going to like 
tidy it up a bit and then I will come to that in a minute like my craft paper could move I've emptied all over here that just needs to be hoovered and I've moved some stuff I've still got to tidy my desk I've got some like rubbish down there and then I've moved everything over here now so as you can see it's rammed over here but it's like I've got to sort through all of these items this here is pretty much everything out the alcove and everything that is the desk to build and the two sets of alex drawers there and then i've got my packing fuzz <laughs> and my colored drawers here which i'll sort through but then here i've put the cube unit and then i've put these two lots of see-through drawers i've changed the height of them and put those either side don't know if they're going to stay there but this will definitely be like the cricket space because i can put the cricket machine on the top i've got room for like the heat press my mug press um and then i could use these i don't know if vinyl is going to fit in these that's probably what i'm going to have to test I'm thinking i'm just going to build things where they're going to go because if i build them over there it's a pain getting through like this little gap so this is where i'm up to right now this is obviously looking a lot more empty now and that over there is a hell of a mess but at least it's all over that side um i was going to film but i'm actually sweating to death up here I've moved that this is the wall that the desk is going to go on so I'm going to build that now I'm really excited to try this desk it's actually from Costway so thank you so much to Costway for sending me this desk I've worked with them previously and I'm going to leave it linked below and they've also kindly sent me a discount so I've got about a breath from moving that desk Ooh. and they've kindly sent me a discount so the idea is is this is going to be like a packing area and I just wanted something that would work for what i needed it for something that's got like shelves above it something that's got shelves under it something that's a little bit deeper so i can put like my craft roll on so i'm going to grab that out i'm going to build it see how it fits <laughs> fingers crossed it fits nice and then i'll build the alex drawers as well get all that area sorted and then i will start organizing it all so let me just go and grab that now and build it it doesn't even make sense why i think about you it was only one night, only that time And it's not my style to be caught up in the middle of this Cause now I dream about you I was probably too drunk <laughs> Okay, so I've got everything out What I have to say is the one thing I love about Costway Everything is always packed so well The big pieces of wood have like these plastic corner protectors on But these, just for transit, just to make sure that the table doesn't get knocked and the one good thing about them is because they fit the wood you can actually use them after as corner protectors if you wanted to if you've got like kids and also I always save all the polystyrene now because it comes in useful packing so recycling and yeah it's the same color wood as the desk that I have from Costway which I'll show you in a minute if you haven't seen that before but I went for the black frame now I wish I'd have gone for the black frame on my desk when I bought it so they would have matched but I really liked it so fingers crossed let's build it now another really good thing all the pieces come marked with little stickers on with letters so you know what goes where I find it really easy to flat pack costway furniture I was really impressed with it the last time I used like went with them so I'm very grateful to be sent this and um, let's get it built and I'll show you exactly what it looks like now I haven't got my impact driver up here but I've got a screwdriver so fingers crossed I'll be okay. so this is it built this is what it looks like i'm really really impressed with how it fits ignore that down there i need skirting um but this is the desk it's really really deep which is really good because i'm going to put my craft roll hopefully on there at the back and then it's got these shelves at the top which come in really useful and it's got a shelf underneath as well so hopefully i'm going to be able to put some other drawers potentially underneath we will see if they fit 
um, and then I'm just going to build the Alex drawers now to go that side and that side but yeah really really pleased with the quality and how it fits so yeah let's build the next drawers hi guys so it's a bit later on i've had to put the light on in here but one set of alex drawers is done there it's very bleached um it fits just about oh my gosh i didn't think i thought i went flat pack i'm very bleached aren't i um i didn't film for flat packing that one but um I'm just about to start the second one and I'm just going to pray that it's going to slide into this gap here because this one honestly was like that close of fitting. I have measured it but you know when you measure things and you're just like mmm. <laughs> so anyway I'm going to build the other one quickly and then I'll put the camera back on when I slide it into place just so you can see how it fits but cross everything for me please. Okay I've just built the frame in record time because I've already done one and so this has flown together. I'm just about to stand it up and slide it in the gap. Pray for me. it perfectly <sighs> now onto the drawers the drawers on alex drawers are so time consuming can you see down here that's the drawers so off i go okay so i have finished this space i'm so pleased with how it's turned out so the two sets of alex drawers fit perfectly down the sides the desk in the middle i'm gonna empty all of this now and then take all the cardboard downstairs and then start on like organizing the stuff because this is all up here still um and then just gonna think how this is gonna work best for packing so yeah i'm just gonna get it all empty and then come up with a system i think but that is what it's looking like so far oh okay so it is the next day feeling a little fresher i've had a shower today um, jumper by the way is from Primark if anyone wants to know because I always get those questions um, so today is the day where I'm going to start like organising the desk and the storage drawers around it I'll probably like just film me putting stuff in but then I'll do like a tour afterwards like where what's in all the drawers and where everything's from the first thing I've just found out oh, sorry I'm out of breath I'm also cooking some day dinner like simultaneously um, but I've just been downstairs and cleared out one of these. So these are from Ikea. I've got a few of these. They come in really useful and also the front lifts up. I actually originally bought these to put my recycling in. But I just never got around to doing it and it ended up being storage in my larder cupboard. So what I thought was I've measured it and it fits perfectly underneath this shelf here. And I thought I could use that for putting the spring fuzz stuff in. Fuzz stuff. So at least like it's kind of contained a little bit, but it's also in reach. So that's going to be like my first plan. But I just need to move some of the things, start packing away and then see how I get on. days later I have been on this room for about a week now <laughs> I'm wanting to film like bits but honestly it's taken me forever to root through stuff I've still got stuff to bring up but for now I am quite happy with how it's looking 
there's a few things like my desk has still got to go downstairs i'll walk you through everything but yeah let's show you what it's looking like now okay, so as you walk up into the loft this is the one side now so this side is the side that um it's kind of just a nice just chill out space at the moment and a filming area for me so i've got the day bed these are still all full of things to sell and i've still got like my bubble wrap up that corner my prints are going to go downstairs with this desk so this is actually my makeup desk which we'd been using for like packing and stuff but that will go downstairs but this little area i managed to fit my chest of drawers in, under there as you might have seen and then this is my little cricket station so i've managed to put my cricket up here because i've got a plug down there got my heat press and uh, my easy press and my mug press there then like i've got my coloring pens a glue gun and then this for all like projects that i've done like so sticky labels in there and then all these drawers are full of my vinyl so i've just organizing them into like permanent vinyl and then these are my iron on so those are all my vinyl and my transfer tape and then under here i've got all my blanks in these cupboards in here and then i've just popped my ring light there to keep it neat um but then all this is still really empty so i have got room to put stock if need be and then over here, this is looking so much better now. So what I've done is I've made this area under here packaging stock, like overstock. And then also I've done glow up stock over here. So I've got like all my adhesives. I've got all my, I've got all my adhesives there. I've got all my lashes there. And then down there, I've just got like some tape and samples. So I've put like all my, I've still got loads of stock to put into here, but I just thought I would put in what I could find first. And then I've left this space here with enough space for tan stock and um, because that is downstairs still. And then moving, I'll, I'll just show you this side might as well first. And then the desk area, it's nice and neat now. Just need to tidy these wires up a bit. And then I'm gonna use that bottom shelf there for like all my paperwork for, I've got a few, some white folders that I'm gonna bring up and put down there. Um, and then I've just got some of my notebooks in there. I could do with like some kind of drawer for stationery, if I'm honest, and um, potentially to go here underneath. I do have, a little like bedside table somewhere so I might do that and then I can move the fire round there because I only ever plug it in when I use it so that could be stored under there probably and then I can come back to that and then under here these bins are empty at the moment but I've got another couple to put under there and I'm going to stack those all the way across and these are going to be for overstock for crafty blondies so I've just got like up in the corner just like some post um jiffy bags got some valentine stock there but i'm going to use these big cream calyx boxes so i've got a few of these i might upgrade to bigger boxes but i'm going to use those to stack over stock so i've got a couple more of those to bring up and then here is the packing desk i'm so pleased with how it's turned out across the top isn't as neat as i would have wanted it to be but it's also got to be practical at the end of the day so i got this box i think i showed you from downstairs this is an ikea recycling box and um, so that's got my um shredded paper in for packing i just thought that'd be nice and easy keep it concealed and then i'm going to build a few boxes so that they're ready and then i can use this bottom shelf here Let me pull this out i can use that bottom shelf there to stack pre-made boxes so that we've always got some prepared and then i put my craft roll on here for craft paper so i've still got loads of room to pack but then the craft roll at the back which works really well and all like a few pens and stationery there and on that side then up here i've got like my parcel tape guns my stickers and i've just put the rolls there i am going to try and think of something a bit better for these eventually but for now they are there and then i found this downstairs this little expandable um it's actually from ikea for plates but i saw it in the box i thought oh my gosh i'm going to use that to just segregate all like my stickers and everything my receipt books um clear wallets and then all like my thank you cards instruction cards voucher cards and then also the thank you cards for crafty blondies and then 
my two Alex drawers. So first of all, I found a place for my tissue paper, which is perfect because I never know where to store the tissue paper. It's just a nightmare. So what I've done is I've kept the middle bit for packing and then these two ones on the side I've split. So glow up is that side, crafty blondies is that side. And then I've organized it all so that this is ready for packing. So I do need to restock my lashes but I just um, put from my last shipment what was in here so I've got my elegance lashes on this side and my glam lashes over that side and then as we go down it is just all the stock so applicators in there and um, what are they called oh my gosh I can't think of the name of them completely forgot what they're called in that one the brushes um and then down here like i say i've got to restock all this with um that down there but for now i just kind of used from my last shipment so i'm almost sold out of my last delivery literally got three left of that one um so i need to restock those then as we move down i've got my coat in then i've got seal and shine then I've got my removers and the pads that I send out with the remover. I started to do that because I just think it's a nice little touch. Um, and then these are all empty, which is good to have. So that is that side. And then over this side, the top one at the moment has got like stationary bits in my label maker and stuff. And then as we move down these are eventually i'm gonna like pre-make everything so as it goes in the smalls boxes just so it's going to be easier for me to do but for the moment we've got skewers matches i've done all my nutella how um aesthetically pleasing is that drawer let me just say then when when we've done up the marshmallows these will be like stocked stacked in there but as you can see that our shop is closed at the moment so we haven't got any prepared and then the biscuits and then the biscuits will be stacked in that drawer then we've got the burners in that one and then again two more empty drawers at the bottom so there's loads of room for growth but this is just everything that was up here right now um so yeah i'm really happy with that so overstock of packing overstock of glow up overstock of crafty blondies packing desk so yeah how much cleaner how much cleaner and better is it looking up here now like i can't believe it but it took me so so long to get it all done and oh my gosh what i want to do is just sit down and chill in here now but it's it's took me all day today so it's 20 past two so we've got to go and get the boys from school in a minute but it is done and i'm thinking that i might even be able to make this side over here like a little filming area so at least because for example when i do like makeup tutorials i could potentially leave that desk up here because the natural daylight that comes through that window is lovely and like i could always sit on the day bed behind these prints if i wanted to so i mean yeah i might keep this as like a filming area um who knows but i'm just so so pleased that it is finally done and um yeah i really hope you like it i am hoping not to mess it up now i've still like i say i've still got stock to come up from the wardrobe room so the wardrobe room is next on my list but thank the lord this room is done but i really hope you enjoyed watching this video and the little mini office tour and um i will share with you bits obviously as and when i do them on a vlog but yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And I would love for you to subscribe and stick around. And until next time, guys, take care. Bye. You